It's another edition of Time About the Movies, and today we're taking a look at the movies of February 7th, 1992. Three movies to look at today, so let's go ahead and jump on into it. Let's start with the first movie that we have here from the director of Die Hard and The Hunt for Red October. We have Sean Connery and Lorraine Bracco in Medicine Man. Robert Campbell has gone deep into the Amazon rainforest, into a world of astonishing beauty, a land of ancient mystery, where he's made an amazing discovery. What is it you think you've got? I don't think. I know. You found the cure for cancer, and all you can say is, I know? There's just one problem. You did what? I've lost! Haven't you ever lost anything? The pass your car keys? Well, it's rather like that. Now you have it, now you don't. A miracle without proof is only a miracle. Now, they must rediscover that miracle. None of the new samples work before it all disappears. We need help. Don't you presume to tell me how to follow up? Now you move your road through here, and we've lost it. presents Sean Connery and Lorraine Bracco in a John McTiernan film, Medicine Man. He turned his back on civilization. Now I understand why you don't want to leave. Only to discover he had the power to save it. They obviously worship you. It's the other way around. Well, this was a terrible movie. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it or waste your time. This is a terrible movie. I mean... Uh, for Sean Connery, he's he's just kind of sleepwalking through this entire movie, and this is his baby. He's one of the executive producers on this movie, as well as the star of the film. But uh, Lorraine Bracco, who was so great in Goodfellas, and then she does this, where she's just given a completely lifeless performance. I mean, she's just the damsel in distress in this, and not even a good damsel in distress, it's just like... What happened to this woman? She was great in Goodfellas a few years ago. How did she go from Goodfellas to this? I mean, she's just... She's wasted in this movie. They're tr And the whole concept here is just... It's ridiculously stupid. I mean, the marketing can't even tell what kind of a movie it wants to be. It's trying to sell itself as an action-adventure film because... Well, this is John McTiernan, the same guy that did Die Hard and the Hunt for Red October. Two far superior action films. But it's not like that. It's like a dramatic... It's more of a dramatic film, but... Advertising's not going to tell you that because, man, that advertising for this movie was just, it's just, it's a, per honestly, it's a perfect representation of the movie itself. It's just, it's a bad movie. It's a bad movie that's trying to be kind of a jungle epic, trying to be this serious storyline, but also trying to inflict a little bit of Romancing the Stone in there, which I guess this is one of the first many of many Romancing the Stone knockoffs they tried to do, and like I said, it failed miserably, but, uh... It was hit at the box office, apparently, just like with the hand that rocks the cradle. People were stupid enough to go see it because, hey, it's got James Bond in it, so why not go see it? But um, but the movie is just bad. It's a bad movie all around. It's a really lackluster film, to say the least. So, yeah, that's Medicine Man. Definitely one of the worst movies of the year, easily. So, um, uh, let's see if the next movie's any better. We have Richard Gere, Kim Basinger, and Uma Thurman in Final Analysis. I had the dream again. I've been treating this attractive, seductive young woman. One sister was a perfect puzzle. Everything goes up in flames. Waiting to be solved. I just can't seem to get off your couch, can I, Dr. Barr? You've got an older sister who just happens to be married. Do what? Do it. The other sister was a perfect lover. Do you think you can help us? Waiting to be seduced. You didn't sleep with her. There were a thousand reasons he shouldn't get involved. It doesn't feel right. Do you always try to talk yourself out of what you want? But he did. I'd stop seeing the girl like... I don't know if I can. I think I'm married. Yeah. You tried divorcing a Greek Orthodox gangster. I don't like people looking at my wife. Are you going to help me? Or not? 
I wish there was something we could do to help Heather. Anyone see you? I don't think so. Detective, you think it was me? Not you and me. What would you think? Uma Thurman. Final analysis. Yeah, what was their plan again? Like, did any of the plan they had in this movie make any sense whatsoever? Because I certainly couldn't tell you, but, um... Yeah, this is another one of those movies where it thinks it's smarter than what it ter turns out to be, and it's anything but smart. I mean, it's really lazy when you really look at it, and I guess people like it because it does kind of feel like an Alfred Hitchcock movie, specifically Vertigo, but, um, yeah, this movie just wasn't wasn't good. This is a waste of some really talented people on a script that really is struggling to find a common ground to what they want to do here. Kind of like with Medicine Man. They got the talent there. There's just nothing there to really cement this as something that needed to be made. I mean, when you have to bring in the one of the co-creators of the Golden Girls to do uncredited screen rewrites on this, you know you messed up big time. And for Richard Gere, this was a string of some really bad movies after he did Pretty Woman, which kind of reju rejuvenated his career. And then he just keeps making these really lackluster films one after another. And, um... Yeah, it just didn't work. It's a movie that's really, really, really not all that good. So that's all I got for you on this one. So let's go ahead and move on to the next, to the last movie here. And at least we're going to end this on a much better note because we have Denzel Washington starring in Mississippi Masala. It's a long way from India to Mississippi. I'm a mix masala. Tiger spicy. Academy Award winner Denzel Washington. I ain't no saint. I'm just looking at him make me break into a sweat. Sweat all over the chicken. <laughs> you know what they say to me? Your brother thought he got himself a white chick. I love him. What about his family? You think I ain't good enough for your daughter, is that it? I never thought I would fall in love with you. Mississippi Masala, rated R. I mean, honestly, this is kind of a more positive version of Jungle Fever, except that one that, that one doesn't have the this one doesn't have the really harsh dramatic ending that that movie does. But Jungle Fever worked out really good for that for that case. But uh, with this movie. It works out really well. It's a nice story. It's a nicely made film. I mean, Denzel Washington and the the uh, woman in this movie, Sarita Shud Shudhuri, I think I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, yeah, but um, they're they're both really good here in this movie. They really have a nice chemistry that they're working off here. The cast overall here is great. You have Charles S. Dutton in here. Uh, some great performances all around. This is directed by Mira Nair, who would later go on to do such films as Vanity Fair, and. Uh, it, like I said, it's a nice film. It's a nice, simple film. It doesn't have to do anything too big or too dramatic. It's just a nice slice of com of life that really... It is another. It's kind, it is kind of like Jungle Fever in that it's a story that could kind of be represented throughout time because really there are things in here that are very similar to common events that happen right now in the, this modern day and time. But um, like I said before, it's nicely done. It doesn't feel forced. It's not trying to force anything too bad on you. It's just... A nice solid film it's a great movie that's really worth watching it's a very underrated gem one of Washington's most underrated performances quite honestly so I would say definitely check it out if you can you could definitely find it on Criterion because that's what I have on, that's why I was able to watch this movie on Criterion it's definitely worth a watch so on that note we wrap up another edition of time about the movies uh, next week it's a pretty good week we've got Valentine's weekend 92 with two movies uh, one of the greatest comedies of all time Wayne's world and the re-release of a very underrated Disney film the great mouse detective so should be a lot of fun this th next time around so be on the lookout for that but uh, until then thank you for watching and as always if you want to see more videos like this please hit the playlist on the next page check out the previous episode and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another episode so thank you for watching I'll see you next time and until then Take care.